I personally identify as a Jewish man, and I support anyone's right to believe or not believe whatever they want, but I will say this. I don't think enough people think about Jesus from the Jewish perspective. This is going to go great. <laughs> <laughs> Just hear me out. Stay with me. Jews already had a God they really liked when one day Jesus came around claiming to be God. Imagine spending your entire life working at a company for a boss you really liked when one day the boss's son came in claiming to be your new boss. And we were like, no, you're not. We have a boss. We like the boss. You're not the boss. And he's like, I'm the boss. <laughs> we're like, no, you're not. We have a boss. We like the boss. You're not the boss. And he's like, I'm the boss. And we're like, no, you're not. And he's like, oh, yeah, watch this. Then he goes and fixes the printer. <laughs> Brings back enough coffee and donuts from the break room for the entire office. <laughs> and all of a sudden, some of the young employees are looking around like, maybe he is the new boss. <laughs> So the old employees, they get nervous, and they go and tell HR, the Romans. <laughs> and they don't want him to get fired. They just want it written up on his file. They just want someone to take notice of the fact that he's causing trouble in the break room. But HR fires him. HR fires him. But everyone blames the employees. <laughs> so then he goes and starts his own new company, and offers everyone free health care, and all you have to do to get hired is acknowledge that he's the new boss and he got fired for your mistakes. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, even if you don't like the joke, you have to admit that the analogy is perfect. 